Hello again, this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio Gallery. I'm hoping that that is um, focused out enough so that we can bring over the 10 by 20 inch canvas that I have added black paint to earlier. I'm going to make a pan of colors and do a shovel pour. And I've got a bunch of this abalone. It's not white. It's got a beautiful silky... It reminds me of the, of the French silk actually. But it'll be a good base. And I'm going to use colors that I love like Royal Sapphire and Fandango, both prism pours. I'm a color art affiliate, so you'll find a 20% off color art coupon code below the video, along with a Pixel Paint Designs coupon code for 10% off, and that's uh, that'll get you Australian Flo Floetrol and Pevio paints and Boom Gel. And other good stuff I'm not even aware of. But uh, the color coupon code will get you prism pores, primary elements, vivid intense, vivid intense fluorescence. That was a uh, that was a Pebio iridescent blue violet. Excuse me, iridescent blue green. This is Snapdragon. This is a pr uh, primary element. I'm going to try not to be too piggy with any one color because I'd like to get a bunch of them down. This is African violet. This is from the Vivid Intense. This is blue-green. This is a fluorescent. I'm trying to stay all in a similar family. And I'm thinking about adding some gold. And the gold that I have the most mixed up of is Decor Americana. 24 karat gold. And I want to make sure there's plenty of room to put my new favorite Red Violet Irida, um, Vivid Intense Fluorescence. And I might throw a little tiny bit of Chantilly Lace on top. This is the Vivid, this is the Vivid Intense Fluorescent Red Violet. Which I evidently need to mix some more of rather quickly because I think my marble has fallen to the bottom of the bottle, but I have the dregs of another bottle over here somewhere. I think it's time that made me want some Egyptian blue when I was looking at that Snapdragon. But I've got another beautiful purple that's from the um, Fairy Tales set, and it's called Amethyst Queen. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of that. It's very close to the Snapdragon and its primary element. And I am going to definitely use some more of the Fandango. And I hope that that's enough. I wonder what else have I got here? I have some indigo violet. And some midnight shadow, but I'm bordering on getting too dark. There's the midnight shadow. Let me a little more over here. The pan of colors is pretty. Let's do one last drizzle of the 24 karat gold and in for penny, in for pound, some more red violet, which has a little bit of gold and diamonds pigment powder in it, I believe. Oh, I said I was going to add a little bit of Chantilly lace to the top. I might go back in after we take a, sh a couple shovels, pulls out, can't talk, um, and Put some more Fandango in there. Alright, so the reason I picked this pan is because it actually is one of the few things that fits next to my table. That's a heavy pan of colors, but that's, that's not a bad thing. So 
So there's my 10 by 20 inch canvas. And here's my shovel from the dollar store that came with the bucket. And I think I'm going to turn that around because I can see some spots. I used the, um, the meat and black, but I got a bad batch, I think. Now you've got to scrape off the bottom of your shovel. Where you get stuff you don't want there. Now I want to try this. Let's see if it moves. And I gotta move a couple bottles out of my way. I thought about putting flowers at the top and I'm still not done thinking that. So I think that might be exactly what happens. But in the meantime, let me move a couple more bottles out of my way. Just because. And I'm liking the idea of getting some more Fandango. And I might even be tempted to put it right in the shovel. Where'd I put it? Right there. So let's put a little more there and a little more here. Now I did I did it the opposite way from the way I'm going to do it now. And I want to see if that's something I want to do again. Put a little bit more right here. I think I like the first mark just as much as the second one, which doesn't really help. I never mind that. Flip my pan around. Scoop and scrape. I wasn't sure I was going to make it all the way to the bottom, but if I slow my roll, I will. I'm liking the gold. Now I think I'm going to take a lot less paint. Which was a little risky, but I made it. Why do I want to fix that edge? Hey, I got away with it. And I see that I have something that does not belong. So let's pull that out of there. With my tweezers are on the Amazon link. The Amazon link is on under link on the link tree under show more. Boy, my pan of colors is just gorgeous. Check that out. Isn't that beautiful? made a mistake doing that over the painting. Silly girl. Sorry about my head in the marble. Now, the tricky parts. Going slow enough to let the shovel empty out. The residuals in there. <clears throat> Which is definitely the tricky part. And I'm going to try it again. I'm going to let the paint go back in my shovel so it doesn't come out to the front so fast. Which didn't really work the way I had anticipated, but 
I was pretty fast on the fix it up, so I think it'll be alright. So I want to put some some paint down at the bottom and I think I can link my marks. We'll know in a minute. That's not bothering me. So I'll just take another dip. Just dip the edge. And plants have little nubs and buds on them, so if I have little bumps, that's okay. Let my shovel relax the paint. I kind of want to just take the paint in the pan and use it to put dots on. But I can also use my shovel to mark make. You could do that with a, um, whoa, that's too bad. Hey, there's a bug in my flowers. Um, you could probably also do that with a tongue depressor. And I kind of want to find, and I wish I had found in advance, a good skewer with a paintball on the end that's nice and round. It'd be really handy to have one of those dotting tools right about now. But I found a fairly good paintball on the end of that skewer. And the paints are showing up beautifully. The pearlescents are beautiful. That could be a mistake. Getting dots too close together is often a mistake because they will join. Get rid of that bubble right now. They're very alien and stylized. That's okay with me. I like stuff like that. I think I'm just gonna make this whole flower look like the mistake it had. Add a few more dots as well. And I could probably leave it like that, but I've got other intentions, I think. I kind of want to do little protrusions and see how that looks. I really wanted to do a spiral, but I haven't, I don't seem to have the nerve right now. Let's see if I can fake it. 
Well, it's sort of a spiral. I think that's okay. I think I got away with it. <laughs> I've got three minutes left to tell you whatever I'm going to tell you, which is I do sell my artwork. And if you're interested, my email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out under Gmail. Uh, E-A-S-P-B and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. Oh, that was weird. That was a, a speech typo. They remind me of succulents. These little, little dabs will do you. Well, I should probably stop. Although I don't want to. Probably could have used some other purple colors. I'm going to have some really, really pretty paint in my pan. I'm going to have to cover up with something and use another day, like tomorrow. In the meantime, I'm going to have to turn this sideways to show it to you. Take my shovel up. Grab my phone. It's simple. I will be torching to release the bubbles caught in the paint, and I see that there are some. Sort of go with the flow, no matter what the weird shape is that you get, you just sort of deal with it. So you'll be turning your head sideways now. <laughs> I love you guys. Thanks for the thumbs up and sharing my videos. You help me out when you watch longer. And uh, I really appreciate your comments. You keep my morale boosted. If you're looking for my email address, it's under Show More, along with my, on my link tree. Uh, which is near the 20% off color art coupon code and the 10% off pixel paints. Does, Pixel Paint Designs coupon code. It also has Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook group, Expressionist Fluid Art Studio Appreciation Group, um, uh, Pixels.com, Fine Art America, Society6, Le Gallerist, and Spring Clothing under the video. There are a whole bunch of places where you can have my stuff reproduced if you'd like to see it put on leggings or a t-shirt or whatever you have. I really want to torch this really badly because I can see those bubbles are driving me nuts. My Amazon link is a great place to shop. It's at no what it cost to you. And if you shop there, you'll find my two books, Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities. They're the first and the second 100 videos I made about paint pouring uh, for YouTube. I want to thank you guys for the donations. The PayPal icon on the bottom right-hand corner of my YouTube channel banner is a way to find my donations or make a donation. And uh, there's a monthly $9.99 fee for anybody who wants to become a member and help help me su help support my paint pouring habit <laughs> and uh, help bring you tutorials. So just look for the join button underneath the video. And uh, there's over 110 videos in the members only library. That's that's how you're rewarded for that. My community board will show you tomorrow's video. I have 30 lists of 100 videos and all of them separated by topic and genre. And if you need something and you leave me a comment, I'll include a playlist in your response. I love you guys. I do sell my artwork. I think I said that. I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. I love you guys. You inspire me often, always and anon. And I post at 10.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to run out of time. I love you. Come again. I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Priscilla out. <laughs>